This is my brother who was killed, Paul. This is taken in 1975. My brother and I just had a bond out of all our family, you know. We all were close, but him and I, being that we were so close in age that our bond just was as strong as as it could be. So June 21st, 1975, uh, Paul Ornelas, he was found deceased by the railroad tracks at the uh, Turnpike. And uh, Mr. Ornelas was found deceased uh, right over in that area there. So he was found uh, blunt force trauma to the head uh, and it was determined to be a homicide. I just thought the world just ended. That's how close we were, you know, and to take something so close like that is just, it's devastating, it shocked our whole family. And I see my brother's picture every morning. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about him and think about asking why. Having gone through everything in the reports, I feel that they pretty well exhausted things at the time. Uh, they interviewed a lot of people. Uh, we have somebody who is constantly looking through the cold cases to maybe identify ones that uh, we could maybe take a look at reopening. and something has to change so that could be anything from a new witness coming forward it could be anything from a technology that's changed uh, for instance dna technology so our new instrument it's a rapid dna instrument it's made by the andy corporation out of uh, boulder colorado it is essentially in the title it is a dna instrument that allows us to rapidly identify uh, dna strands we've been able to use this uh, instrument Sadly, even in multiple mass fatality incidents, the first one that we utilized rapid DNA was for the conception boat fire. Uh, we were able to identify all 34 decedents of that fire in a matter of three days. We also used it during the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash. And again, we identified all of those decedents from that aircraft in, in a matter of two days. In total reality, it's a very minute amount of DNA that we need to run it and process it in this instrument. The machine is so sensitive that we can now get um, what we call touch DNA, which is essentially just you touching something and then we can obtain your DNA from it. I just always ask the question is, will this ever be solved? Will it ever be opened again? And here we are, almost 46 years later, it's reopened. I just pray that I get some closure someday and justice be served.